Hi guys, welcome to Think Practical and this is Prasad Angulare. Here I want to talk about an important topic. Do you really want to risk your money on IPO stocks? I really want you to think 10 times before you buy any IPO stocks. So today is April 19th, 2019. and there were two ipo stocks came yesterday one is zoom and another one is uh, pinterest and they were uh, zoom was valued almost 9 billion initially uh, so uh, let's say if we take a look at it uh, the zoom so for example so as you can see here the stock Uh, went all the way uh, as of April 18th, 2019. All the way, it went to sixty-two dollars each share, and then the valuation valuation is sixteen billion dollars as of like today. Of course, today is Good Friday, and there there is no trading happening. Uh, so April 19th, 2019 is today, and uh, so in my opinion, the valuation is. quite high for a zoom video uh, video conferencing uh, you know services and of course uh, they are great in the video conferencing but is this value is uh, is reasonable i mean you know so before we go deep into zoom i want to share something that happened for example with twitter uh, five years before so let's look at it on november 7 2015 uh, i'm uh, i think 13 i'm sorry 2013 it's more than 5 years twitter went public uh, the initial public offering on twitter was 26 dollars and then it went all the way to 45 dollars on the day one uh, which is like 74% up uh, similar to similar to zoom right now so it was valued 31 billion do you know what is the price of twitter today okay let me step back so in 2013 5 years ago look at this 5 years ago twitter stock was 45 dollars each with a 31 billion dollars valuation 5 years ago now let's look at it today april 19 2019 what is the stock price 35 and what is the valuation 26 billion and we all know twitter is a great company competitor to facebook and blah 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 man you know uh, but the question is it went all the way to 45 and then after 5 years still we are looking at 34 and twitter's initial public offering was only 20 i mean the initial price uh, uh, ipo price was 26 but immediately it jumped I mean, all the way to forty-five, and in two years, I mean, as you can see, in two thousand fifteen, August two thousand fifteen, it fell below the IPO price after almost two years. I mean, around two years. Okay, so if you see the Twitter chart, I'm mean, I'm just giving you a history of an IPO, which is a great IPO too. So you can see here uh, the Twitter stock all the way. It went even sixty dollars. December 2013 so in a month it went all the way to $60 each share uh, that's even a, a higher valuation than 30 billion probably almost 45 billion valuation company so now we'll keep looking at it i mean you know it's it's keep going down keep going down i mean you know you can see in 3 years or like for example november 2016 the reason i'm picking up 2016 it's 3 years after the ipo released in november 2013 so what is the stock price it's 18 dollars or something like that so it went all the way to 14 15 dollars uh, and then it started picking up slowly i mean you know in 2018 of course it went to 45 but again it came down last few months so so the point is it takes time for all these new companies to stabilize i mean you know i think twitter stock right now is probably a decent price to go in or like a 25 or 30 dollars so but if you would have bought twitter stock 5 years back your money is still same if you did not sell it but a lot of people get panic and sell it when it is 14 15 dollars 
I mean, you know, and then your money, half of your money is under the water. Or if you bought at sixty dollars at the Twitter in December two thousand, uh, uh, that December two thousand thirteen, so your sixty dollars is fifteen dollars. I mean, like it's like twenty five percent of your money if you sold it in two thousand sixteen, for example. So, I definitely recommend. Uh, I think not to just simply buy. and listen to the hype that whatever you hear so zoom what are we looking at it right now i think initial uh, price was like uh, 36 or something and then it opened look at this they tried to open wall street at 65 and then and they tried their best to keep it and 72% up uh, you know base color uh, i mean you know so this is again 36 nobody could buy it 36 is ipo price uh, Uh, only if you have a big financial advisor some stuff like that they will try to give you but very uh, you, you won't get it but even that i mean i don't know i mean you know 9 even at 36 dollars the valuation of uh, zoom uh, zoom is 9 billion at 36 so now it is 62 so the valuation increased to 16 billion so i i strongly advise uh, i think do not invest at this moment i think uh, hang on to it unless you want to sell it tomorrow i mean like tomorrow means like uh, you buy monday uh, monday and then you want to sell it on 23rd maybe you will be okay but you are going to keep it for a couple of weeks or couple of months or couple of years i don't know it could be it could be another twitter or it could be a gopro look at gopro it, that, this was an ipo that came a uh, few months back i mean sorry uh, but of course few years back so this came in 2014 and look at this uh, gopro uh, you know they make really nice cameras uh, uh, i mean you know i don't think they have a real exact competitor i mean you know i mean definitely they have a niche that's all i'm saying so the twitter stock i mean uh, you know uh, is right now 6 dollars i mean you could see it went all the way to 52 weeks range 4 dollars for god's sake i mean you know and then the stock was after ipo uh, in t- october 2014 it went to 85 dollars 85 dollars each stock and look at that and then it's keep going down keep going down keep going down and i mean if you if you if i pick one year it went all the way down to 4 dollars what happens if you would have uh, picked up this stock on ipo what would you be doing it i mean in, you know uh, even after 4 years i mean still i mean struggling i mean i think uh, i think this is a good price for right now to buy it i think uh, if you can keep it if you are a long term investor i'm going to i'm not going to say it's going to go for uh, 8 dollars tomorrow so but i think it's a decent price for the fina- based on the financials that i looked at it uh so and look at the snap the next uh the next uh one i want to pick it up so snap stock uh like i mean it, it started publicly trading i think in march 2017 uh i think uh, let's look at it here so so yeah um and almost uh yeah more i mean almost couple of years I mean, let's look at it. So they 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 started around twenty five or whatever, uh, and then it started going down. And after two years, what what are we talking? March sixth is a public offering. So March sixth, two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen. After two years, we are talking about eleven dollars. I definitely knew that this was highly valued. I mean, when it was valued, it was valued like thirty billion dollar. I mean, Twitter was not even a thirty billion dollar when this company was released. I mean, I mean, if you look at financial, uh, Snap revenue is less than a Twitter. I mean, I had no clue why they valued thirty billion dollars on Wall Street. So, I mean, I don't even think. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Eleven, eleven, even fifteen billion dollars may be okay, but. I mean, I, I probably wish if we could buy at five or six dollars. If it ever comes back, maybe you pick at that time. Okay, now let's look at Lyft. I mean, Lyft came a month back. I mean, we all know. I think uh, so. I mean, this stock. I mean, you know, it started trading. Like, I mean, I'm I'm just picking up. Uh, so, you know, March twenty eighth. I think it released uh, the IPO and just j- just not even a month back. and then it started going down so who knows what it is i mean you know it's it's a pretty much lift is a pretty good company uh 
I looked at quickly financials, but I still want to see a few more years. I think at least three more years to see their revenue and stabilize it. So I'm 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 really not sure. I mean, you know. And now we are talking about Uber with a hundred billion dollars valuation. I mean, these are good companies. Uh, to be honest, I think Lyft uh, uh, compared to compared to Zoom, I think probably I would pick Lyft if I had to invest. So Pinterest also. Uh, came into market yesterday the ipo i think it went up at what 30% it's again 12 billion dollars valuation currently we are talking i don't know how many of us use pinterest i mean you know uh, are we looking at uh, you know uh, i still need to look at financials i don't think there much there is much data here uh, so i yeah, mean they are saying it's it's not even half of not even half of uh, twitter revenue i mean if it is not half of twitter re- gross revenue how could it be i mean you know uh, i mean you know 13 billion dollar valuation I did, anyway I, i did not do too much of analysis on pinterest uh, so i mean uh, you know i'll try to share more information so all the all the links that i'm looking at it uh, most of them are who finance but i will try to share it in the video please go ahead and link uh, i mean go through it but uh, i would stay away from these ipos i mean you know i mean uh, see uh, wall street is managed by big boys right they have billions the big boys have billions i mean we don't have uh, billions right they can control whatever the way they want i mean you know if they want to increase a stock they can if they want to decrease a stock they can uh, you know they can uh, decrease it so Uh, i i think i would stay away i mean it could even go up i mean you know that's how the drama when I mean, they have a buckets of billions of dollars i mean they can keep pouring it and once they start uh, you know taking their money out that's when you see the true picture of any stock also if you look at uh, zoom revenue look at here in fiscal 2017 revenue was 60 million and then 150 million of course 330 million and zoom posted a net income of 7.4 million for fiscal 2019 so fiscal year uh, means uh, it's not exactly calendar year so they can choose a 12 month period so it, it must have ended uh 2019 fiscal must have ended like march 2019 for example so that's why they were able to post uh, these results uh publicly uh, of course obviously they are releasing their ipo they want to make sure they have a good revenues i guess uh, but but 330 million is not huge uh and i mean for example even twitter revenue right now is 2 billion a gross revenue more than 2 billion so yeah i mean i don't think valuation of 16 billion or 10 billion for zoom justifies based on the revenues uh, what uh, they have here uh, i think so i would say please stay away from these ipo stocks i think i don't think this is our game uh, to be part of i think unless you really want to gamble and just see it uh you might be okay you might make some money but you may lose a lot of money so that's what uh, i personally think uh, thank you very much guys and if you find this video uh, helpful uh, please do uh, share it with share it with others so that they can benefit i mean you know so uh, yeah probably your friends will be appreciating uh, later i mean you know when uh, when they see the real picture of uh, how the how the uh, how these stocks will shape thanks for watching my video stay tuned and please do subscribe to our channel click on bell icon to be notified for future videos